include random things like I shredded up some spinach and arugula and put it into our spaghetti yesterday just to use it up. So I'm doing some weird things. Made homemade tortillas because I wanted something to go with the ground beef. Because that day we already had pasta, so I was like, I don't want to do spaghetti. But I did do spaghetti yesterday. But that day I was like, I'm gonna make some tortillas. <laughs> they were they were fine, but like and I've already been roasted in this stream over it. What's your favorite meal? Mm. Used to be spaghetti. <laughs> Nowadays I don't even know. Did you make the tortillas you ate this morning? Yeah, those were the last leftover tortillas, so I I just didn't know what to have for breakfast. I was like, we don't really have anything right now, like breakfasty. And I was like, I just want something sweet. So I was like, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but instead of bread, because we don't have bread, tortillas. It was all right. I didn't finish it though. It's too much. Favorite meal is always tacos. <laughs> tacos are always delicious. Haley should make a random shit I threw in the pan blog because some of that shit looks delicious. <laughs> I also like to add a bit of uh, cheese to the spaghetti sauce, but we didn't have any cheese. And I was like, wait, we still have some slices of Swiss cheese and we had craft singles. So I put in two slices of Swiss, two craft singles. The innards we put in the tortillas on the tortilla day were also just like. Here we go. Psh. Banana bread. Ooh, I have not made banana bread in a while. Banana bread is so good. I gotta make that one of these days. Arugula is rocket in the UK. Like it's called rocket? Rocket salad! I remember the progi vlogs in the old apartment and lots of stir fry. <laughs> yeah, I make a lot of stir fries because that's... <laughs> that's like the easiest with the random ingredients I buy. Because stir fry, you can throw in almost anything. So like, I make a lot of stir fries. Back in the daily vlog days, we knew what Bailey had for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> yeah, because that's like half of my vlog content. In your old vlogs, you had the black bananas in the freezer for banana bread. Mm -hmm. I think we might have a couple in the freezer right now in the door. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Didn't know we're going over four hours. It hasn't been four hours yet. I miss Panda Express. Really need to go live. I'll go live in Dubai. Panda Express was right next to Baskin. I've had Panda Express like once or twice in my life. Was it Panda Express? What's that other, like, American Chinese chain? There's... I forget. SS Fridays, sub and stream! There was a subway on, subway on the first floor of our apartment building. So... Fridays, I get home from work, grab a sub, stream some games. Good times. How long do they keep in the freezer before they become inedible? I don't know. The new leaf streams, how time flies. <laughs> Do 
P.F. Chang's. That's the other one. I haven't... Okay, yeah. P.F. Chang's is not the one I've had. I've had Panda Express. For the first time last year. <laughs> Went down to Bellingham to buy something at Best Buy. Because it was like, not available in Canada. And I was like... What's funny is I don't actually end up using that device that I went down there to get, so... But it's not too bad. It's like, it's like, oh, this is only available in the States? Oh, well, I just need to drive like one hour and I'll be in Bellingham. <laughs> and most of that drive is in the U.S. Well, depends. You could just be sitting at the border for a chunk of that time. So if I ever desperately need something from, like, Target, I could technically get there in an hour. Assuming the border weight's not atrocious. Oh, I also filled up with gas, so I was like, heh <laughs> cheap American gas, yes. Flurry wants me to get her a sea bass. Where on earth will you find one? <laughs> Damn, Flurry, why you gotta be lazy? They're everywhere. I remember the livestream.com streams back in the day. That site is no longer active. That is where I first started streaming. My first ever viewer wanted to see my feet. Remember when you can only do game related art on Twitch? Yeah. So even I even emailed Twitch. I'm like because Twitch was games only back then, so I was like, can I stream art in the creative category? And they're like, only if it's game-related art. And I was like, okay. And then they burst it open for anything creative. And I was like, woohoo, my time to shine. So I came back to Twitch basically because of that. I don't know if I was streaming games on the regular event. I don't think I was. Because I think I kind of like wasn't streaming anymore. But when they, at least when they opened up the creative category, I came back to Twitch. That was a wild stream. My first stream back on Twitch. I had over a thousand viewers. And I got partnered after one stream. I was like, this feels like cheating, but I'll take it. Remember when they allowed social eating? They still do. Don't they? I see you on the flip side. Yeah, that was handy for like if I was going to work or something. Something where I wouldn't be vlogging for a while. I'd do that little transition. I still do it occasionally, but not very often anymore. I was on Twitch back before it merged with Justin TV. <laughs> I have a funny story where there probably will never be a Wendy's in Europe. Back in the 80s, there's a guy who copyrighted the name in Benelux, Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg coalition. Those countries became part of the European Union, so the copyright also is enforced. So American Wendy's tried to sue the guy out of money so they can come here and when American Wendy said he wasn't using it right by making a chain. They sh they should come to Europe. So then he opened his second restaurant. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish leaving these, and then the stream will be over. 
because it is now past two o'clock. My thumb's a little sore right here. Digging in. Didn't you vlog on how to do the flip side transition? Maybe. I'm sure I at least discussed it. I don't know if I showed it. Maybe I did, actually. You guys would remember better than I would. <laughs> I'm sure you just paused the video, then restart it. No, because then it... No. So I'll say, like... Let me hold the camera. So it's like this. I hold it. Usually the screen's out. And I'm like... See you on the flip side, and then I flip it like this. Oh, I flip it all the way around. And then I do what I need to do, and then I come back, and before I even say anything, I go, I flip it around and then go, da da, okay, da da, and I vlog. And then you just combine the clips. You look for a frame where they, they match up. So I try to do it in front of like a blank wall or something, so that when the camera is either facing the ceiling or facing the wall behind me, it's something that will match up, like, like like I said, a white wall or something. Because if the background is too different, it won't match up. And so I just splice the videos and just combine them together. And if it was a rough transition, I'd have to um, do a slight cross dissolve. But you can see the blur of the cross dissolve in that case. So I'd always try to make it so that it's a clean cut. Like it's literally just a straight cut, no dissolve. The clips just happen to work together. Cilantro versus coriander. I spent weeks trying to find cilantro for a recipe off an American site. <laughs> I didn't know about that either. But I never had any recipes called for coriander, but like, it's a word I'm like, oh yeah, I have heard that before. Oh, I didn't know that was cilantro. I guess I also just don't go looking for cilantro because it's fucking nasty. And thanks for the live stream. Hope you can fix your printer cartridges. Thank you. I'm probably going to order new ones. Because of the urgency, I will have to go buy a yellow one. Possibly even today. Ugh. Yeah. Today or tomorrow. I mean, if I'm driving to the grocery